What an amazing opportunity to perform for the first time to an audience who hasn't seen this show. You've done a lot of work. Focus. Spread the joy. And I can't wait to see you kill it on stage. Hi, I'm Jennifer Hunter. I'm the Artistic Director and Professor of Theatre here at UNW. I love to tell stories. I've been telling stories since my childhood, acting them out, creating them, getting my neighborhood kids together. But it wasn't until college when I took a directing class in theater that I realized I had a capacity for directing. When this position opened, it just seemed as if God was calling us to pursue it. While we were visiting here, there were so many God moments that I came to realize, I think this is where we are moving our family, and it's really become a home for us. Okay, let's pray. Lord, thank you so much for tonight, for our designers run. We're so lucky to have such wonderful people working with us. Lord, I pray for safety. Well, students are my passion. It's not hard to get out of bed in the morning and come here because I don't consider it to be work. It's my passion, it's my calling, and it's how I serve. Jennifer is probably one of the most impactful people I got to experience collaboration with at Northwestern. She empowers her students, she encourages her students, and she also challenges them. Just her guidance and direction on the stage, but also off the stage, just made my time here so special as a student. You never know what you're preparing for. And that's really true of this department, is it really laid a groundwork for being able to be prepared for anything. There is a beauty in seeing someone realize their fullest potential. To me, that's such a, a God moment, because I know in my own strength, I will surely fail but I know that God can use me in some small way. And to me, that, that's the ultimate calling. Jennifer is one of the most efficient and on top of everything director I have ever worked with. Jennifer is somebody who really wants to make sure everybody's time is being used well. Jennifer, I always felt like, just gave us a really, really great and safe space to be able to explore and make choices. So one of those things is instead of walking or blocking for us, she will communicate to us what she wants us to do and then it's up to us to kind of like take her mental picture and embody it on the stage. Whenever I've had a difficult moment where I'm like, I don't know like how this scene is going to play out or I'm struggling in this moment, like she's really great at, at guiding you to the answer instead of just telling you. And even how she would take the time to communicate with me in ways that I would understand. Even if I didn't understand like the first time, she would follow up with more understanding. During Bright Star, I was having a hard time with figuring out where to let the moment breathe. She really just gave me the freedom to feel, feel the scene in the moment and to be present and that that was the one part of the whole show that really could breathe. One of the things that's so interesting is that our students are busy. They're overscheduled. They have a lot on their, their plates. And so one of the things we try to do is leave those things at the door when we come to a rehearsal. There's freedom for our theater students in being able to release all of that and to focus on creating. Today we're in some unprecedented times. Not since 9-11 have I felt this type of disruption, but that's required us to cancel all of our activities that we have on campus in April and May. So things like the theater production of Peter Pan, the production of Beauty and the Beast. We are a week away from opening one of the biggest shows we've ever done. I remember getting that phone call that we were going to be postponing the show and I just had a lot of fear at first. So we had spent two days doing flight rehearsals. Then I remember, it was quite literally, we came down from the air, Iris, one of our other professors, sat us down and Jennifer was there and said that we're gonna be postponing the show because of COVID. It didn't totally make sense to me, or like, it wasn't really computing like, oh, like this show isn't gonna happen. It was really hard to look them in the eyes and say, we're not gonna be doing this right now. Jennifer's process 
dealing with COVID was a godsend. Somehow we kept theater alive during COVID and we spaced our audience members out. A completely double casted show, like we were all a little bit like, how is this gonna work? Some of us were working downstairs with a live feed set up to the actual performing stage area where the other cast was being rehearsed with Jennifer. They weren't frustrated. They were so excited that they, they had a sense of community during a time when there wasn't community. You look around at, at other colleges and frankly, nobody was getting to do the stuff that we did. And that's really thanks to Jennifer being tenaciously about like, these kids are here to learn. So like, we need to get them as much experience as they can, regardless of the circumstances that we're under. This world needs light, and it needs it in the theater industry. Christians have handed over media to a secular world. As believers in Jesus and followers of Jesus, we are called to be excellent in everything we do. We see in the Bible countless times that Jesus was a storyteller and told um, in stories and parables. And that's what the heart of UNW Theater is. So we have this uh, explanation in the front of our playbills to help our audiences understand why we're doing theater at UNW. We have a different calling as a Christian for theater than others who do theater in the world. We're there to, to take the gifts that Christ has given to us and to offer them back as an offering back to him to glorify him. I am so grateful to Jennifer. Jennifer, thank you so much for, for everything that you've done. You believed in me, you cheered me on, and I will be forever thankful for the time that I spent at Northwestern. It's truly been life-changing, and I will cherish my time at UNW Theater for the rest of my life. I appreciate you so much, I'm so happy for you to have been here for 10 years now. So, thanks Jennifer.